The ASU Natural History collections comprise nine different collections ranging from plants to invertebrates to mammals. We now have a 24,000 square foot new renovated space to house all of our nine natural history collections and combine the housing uh, with new facilities uh, for research, uh, learning and outreach in relation to these collections. Our accessibility has increased. Our openness, uh, both physically and in terms of conceptually, has increased. We've tried to really use this, this concept of new uh, interactions and new openness as, as, as a blueprint for how we design the space. The collection grew very slowly, mostly as a teaching collection, up until about the early 60s. Uh, at that point, Frank Hasbrook was uh, hired and for the next 25 years, uh, he just dedicated an enormous amount of time to growing the collection. Most of our collections have a strong focus on the Southwest. Our mammal collection uh, has uh, several larger mammals, but is also quite extensive for rodents uh, and, and bats uh, from the Southwest. The herpetological and the fish collection, those are very diverse and they're spectacular. I mean, we have a very large collection of snake and also freshwater fish, some of which are endemic to Arizona. Our insect collection is probably uh, you know, among the more international ones. We have uh, significant holdings of uh, neotropical, new world tropical uh, beetles in particular, um, lots of Mexican material as well. There's a long legacy and history to these collections, but we can actually see that if we just focus on preserving the legacy, we may not do such a good job. So we need to be open uh, to new forms of uh, collaboration and integration with other programs. And we need to be open to uh, new forms of, of outreach and engagement, both at the university level and, and beyond it.